Alright, I thought I'd see what the uh, Nikon Z7 will do for me for face tracking since I did the Panasonic G9 and the A7R3 which I recently just swapped out for the Nikon Z7 and a Fuji X-E3. The X-E3 is just kind of a seldom used camera to go with me and you know for work or you know various travel where I'm not really going on a anything photography related to something to keep with me that's small. Um, a7 or the A7, the Nikon Z7 would be obviously my primary camera. So I've got it on. I've got the SnapBridge app going now, and I can see the box on my face. Now the A7R3 doesn't have face tracking. I mean, it has face tracking, but it doesn't have does not have eye detect AF during video. Um, I think the G9 does, if I remember right. But anyway, so I hear some airplanes flying around. I don't know if that's going to pick up on the microphone. That's the other thing see how this microphone picks up. It's a Rode Video Micro um, manually set um, to 12 on the sensitivity on the camera. So it goes 0 to 20 um, and then there's an automatic setting. I've got it on manual uh, set to 12. I'm just going to move around. I see it following my face. Uh, the camera is set to I believe 50 millimeter. So I'm going to kind of see where it goes. I'm going to step out Step back in, and I see the box again on my face. Now it does, if you have it set, um, you know, just pretty much all automatic, it'll do auto exposure on the face. So if my face were in like a, you know, a big backlit situation, you know, a lot of light behind me, and then my face was kind of dark, it'll, it'll blow out the background and brighten up your face. So I'm just going to keep moving around. Autofocus settings, it's uh, AFF. So autofocus full time during video. It, there's an AFC setting, but that's it's a little bit different with Nikon. I think the, you have to have it in AFF before it'll continuously um, focus like this. I'm just gonna move up. I'm actually only about two or three feet from the camera now. Let me just make sure of. Uh, actually, I've got it on 35 millimeter. So this is the Nikon 24 to 70 S lens. It's the f/4. So this is one of the brand new lenses, and I'm really happy with it. It's really, really sharp, silent for video, and um, still on my face. Let's see how far I can go back before it loses my face. Still, oh, right about there is where it lost my face. So coming back, <coughs> there. Okay, now it picked up my face again. Set this on 1080 60p. Let's move around here inside, move back again. Seems to get pretty far back before it loses my face. Still on me there. Yeah, just lost it. Walk up here. And as far as the autofocus area, it's the um, it's the full screen. I don't remember the name of that particular setting. So you know, you've got the um, AFS, you know, the single point. Uh, well, no, there's a single point, the, the wide area small, and there's like a wide area large, and then there's, I can't remember what the one for the, um, for the whole frame, but that, that's what it's on right now. I think that's, that's what you have to have it on if you're doing face tracking with the Z7 or Z6. <clears throat> and while I'm at it, the SnapBridge app, I like it a lot better than uh, the other apps I've been using, Fuji, Panasonic, um, Sony because it's Bluetooth connected, you leave that Bluetooth on all the time and then when you fire up the app, um, you know, if you're in your house or somewhere near where you have, um, just keep moving around a little bit, where you have your phone normally connected to your Wi-Fi at your house or wherever you might be, you know, hey, normally I had to go into the Wi-Fi settings of the phone and manually select the Wi-Fi setting of the camera or the Wi-Fi access point, you know, it's broadcasting, manually connect to it and then get back into the app and then, then you're finally connected to the app and the phone and camera all together so you can start controlling it remotely. Uh, but with the um, SnapBridge app, you know, this latest one that they have right now, you leave that Bluetooth connected and then you just um, click on the remote photography and it's already connected to the camera through Bluetooth and then it'll force the connection to the Wi-Fi. It'll ask you if you want to join the Wi-Fi um, and I think that's a phone prompt and you say yes, you know, join and then it joins and 
there you go. You don't have to do all that manually uh, going into your phone settings and getting the Wi-Fi uh, linked up again. Right, I think I'm going to stop it there. So that's it. And um, so far it looks really good. And uh, let's see here. Again, I'm about two or three feet from the front of the lens. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll, I'm going to do something on the Z7 here and uh, probably this weekend. Uh, my thoughts on it and my thoughts on the Z7, i just tell you right now, it's excellent. I'm very happy with it, very content, and um, I'm just very happy I bought it. And, uh, you know, the A7R 3 was a really nice camera, made some outstanding images. It's got a great sensor, just like the uh, Nikon Z7. Um, but, you know, if, you're, if you've been familiar with Nikon, you know, that's just what you like in you know the <clears throat> the color and the look and feel of the images from Nikon. It, it's what I've always been familiar with and what I'm accustomed to. That probably was flicker. Uh, anyway, um, it's just for me, it's outstanding, and I, I really love that. And I've I've not found any issues at all with the Z7, and um, you know, was extremely happy with it. I'm not shooting birds in flight. You know, not trying to run the buffer out and roll. I'm mean, just see what I can see how fast I can run the buffer out. You know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just not what I do. I'm, I'm not that kind of a shooter. I just single shot, you know, and um, hardly ever an AFC, you know, usually just single focus AFS. Um, you know, if you need a sports camera, buy a sports camera. But if you want something just a really all round, extremely well built, beautiful camera that produces beautiful images, I mean, the Nikon Z7 is, is a great camera for that. And I think the Z6 will be the same, but a little bit faster. Probably a lot faster, but you know, with a smaller sensor, but the exact same wonderful body. And I, I'll talk about the EVF and my, if you want to call it a review, my thoughts on the Z7 when I talk about it, you know, this weekend. But uh, that viewfinder is the best I've ever seen, and it's super sharp, super clear. And the A7R3 had an outstanding viewfinder. And that, before I used this, that was the best viewfinder I'd ever seen in the A7R3. Uh, it may be the same panel, but the optics in the viewfinder from Nikon, oh. It's just, it's great. So now I'm going to stop. All right. Thanks for watching.